Hey guys, this is 14 Teen Angel. I'm going to be doing a video of how to convince your parents to get, to let you get a piercing. So, as you know, I have, I have six piercings. I'll tell you how I kind of got them. Obviously, they're not as bad, probably, but whatever. So, this white one, I pierced by myself. I went in the bathroom. Yeah, sterilized everything, grab a needle and put it through. Same with this white one. But I'll get to that in a minute. So I pierced this and I couldn't get the back because I didn't know if it was straight or whatever. So I went to my dad and I was like, Dad, can you finish pushing it through? So he didn't get mad, he actually put it through and he was like, Oh, that's awesome. So he let me do that. Then my pink dice earrings. Actually, I got all of my earrings that I'm wearing right now from Ardeans. Yeah, Ardeans and Claire's. So this one, I, the dice ones, I got when I was four months, nine months, something like that. So they're very old. Uh, and then the side, I got this one a month later. Like I pierced this one a month later, a month after, sorry, in this one. I would do one at a time if you're piercing by yourself. I would do one at a time, even though I don't recommend piercing yourself, but if you are, I would do one at a time, because this will be sore for a few weeks. So, then now it's fine, you know. It's crusty like all the other, pierce, other piercings. So, for my nose, how I kind of, my dad kind of convinced me into getting it, if that even works. He, sorry this video might be long again, I only make long videos, sadly. But, for my nose, my dad didn't want me to get my belly button pierced last summer. So, he said, how about we get your nose pierced and then we can think about your belly button. And I was like, okay, I'll go with the flow, right? I'm not going to. So I said okay, and then this year, February 11th, I got pierced, and he was he made me pledge before I went into that the piercing room, whatever. He was like, Angelica, I want you to say I will not ask for another piercing, tattoo, or any body thing until you're 18 when you can do whatever you want. So I pledged, sadly. So I want a few more piercings, but like I said, I'll get to that in like a different video or something. So, for my belly button, I'll tell you how I convinced it. So, how I convinced it is like, my eyes are super dry here. So, I've been asking my dad, my mom is completely okay with get me getting whatever piercing, like, she's fine with it. She's fine with my belly button, which I'm happy with. So she helped me convince him. So I convinced my dad. Like I constantly asked him. I was like, Dad, can I get my belly pierced? Dad, can I get it pierced? So if you're going to get your, if you want a piercing and try and convince your parents, I would go on the internet and get information um, on your that piercing you want. So I went to. For an example, I went on Google and I looked up belly button piercings and stuff came up and it said it is perfectly safe if done by a professional. So I copied that, sent it to him on Facebook or you can send it to him on email. Uh, then I sent the rest of the link page to it. Then, sorry I keep saying then. Um, so I then found this awesome piercing shop, um, so Spivers, and I, oh, so, like I said, I continue, um, continued, um, asking him, asking him, I sent him information about it, so that's what you do, is send information about it, keep asking, I shouldn't, I was going to say don't ask constantly, but I asked constantly and it worked. 
because he got annoyed. <laughs> but I asked him, like, I told him, okay, after I sent him the information about my piercing, I was like, okay, Dad, I won't bug you for the rest of February. If you, sorry, the rest of, when did I say I wouldn't bug him? Oh, I think it was January. I said, I wouldn't bug I was like, Dad, I won't bug you for the rest of January. If you just look at that and think. He was like, that's a deal. So I held it in. It was so hard not to ask him. And then it was, we were, but then, like, I got my report card, like, my exam report card. To see how I did and whatever. I passed everything, thank God. So I showed him my marks and I was like, Dad, can I get my belly button first? He was like, Yes, you can go call, you can go call them and see how much it is and you can make your appointment for tomorrow. And I was like, Really? I was like, Yes. So I wrote on Facebook. So uh, if you want a piercing, show them that you can take care of your piercings, you can clean them. Send them information about the piercing. Don't bug them for a month or two months and let them think. Uh, most likely ask once you give them your report card for them to try to, like, I don't know, like, um, can't think of that word. Uh, to praise you or whatever. For, like, to give you a prize because you did something good. So I got my belly button done just because I asked a lot and I think it was my report card mark too. So if you do want a piercing, one thing that I hate is when people get their piercing, then they complain. I was one of those people for my nose, but that got better. Oh, and like, my dad was like, you're not going to get another piercing nose if you're going to complain about your nose. The only reason I complain about my nose is because, you know, these are baby piercings. Like, these two holes are baby piercings. Like, the little kids get these. And, and then I got my nose done. Which is getting into the mature piercings. You know, my belly button is using mature piercings. So I'm like, Okay, so I showed him that I can clean these, obviously. That wasn't hard to do. And I promised I wouldn't complain for my belly button, so he was like, okay, go make your appointment. I probably told you that already, I'm just rambling. I was making less, but it could have erased. My battery died. <laughs> so, what else was there? Oh. If he... If your parents say, like, we'll see, and try to drop the conversation once you bring it up again then you know then you know they're trying to avoid it like they don't want you to get it but they're up for it so I hope this kind of helped you and another thing I've like I've seen is that writing a little essay on on that piercing and how you're going to take care of it, and how it's your body, and so on. Some people, other people's parents accepted that, and let them get the piercing. So, yeah, I hope this helped. Okay, bye. Oh, my nails that I did. I did new, I did another design. It's so hard. Yeah, I can do a nail update soon. Bye! Good luck on your piercings. And yeah.